Welcome to A Dude's Nerdery. After honoring the toy gods yesterday evening, I ventured out to a target today and found a plethora of hawks. Thank you, O oh kind and merciful toy gods, for bequeathing me this glorious bounty of two Clone Wars hawk figures. Tonight, I shall make an unrivaled sacrificial offering to honor the toy gods and thank them for this glorious bounty, and to humbly ask for good fortune in the hunt ahead this week for the remaining three figures for myself and all of my collector friends. We are going to unbox the entire Mojo Build-A-Figure wave, then assemble Mojo as an offering to the toy gods. I sincerely cannot believe I'm about to open this wave and assemble Mojo. But the toy gods demand a sacrifice. And this fits the bill. But this packaging is not practical, but it's still pretty cool. Check out the entire Mojo wave on the back. And then the other thing I really appreciate about these boxes were the different power levels up on top, man. Super cool. Psylocke has a notably impressive face sculpt for Toy Biz. Man, she looks, she looks really cool from all angles, doesn't she? Her hair is black and it has a light purple wash going through it. You can definitely see it more from the back of the figure, man. Super cool. She has really cool double articulation at the waist and torso, so she swivels 360 degrees in both places. That's really cool, man. You can get her into some uh, more uh, dynamic fighting poses that way. So this is really cool, too. She has a double pin elbow joint and then a 360 degree swivel at the forearm, and then her hand also articulates back and forth. Really cool, man. I gotta, I'm gonna have to figure out. You can really get her into some neat poses that way. See, check out how the forearm just swivels like that. So cool. Maybe she's given some kind of like mystic pose like that. That is really neat. So excited to get this Psylocke in with my 90s X-Men. Traditional purple outfit with the red sash. She is a stunner for sure. One of the other things that is really cool about the Toy Biz packaging is it comes with a comic book inside of it. So then you get a really cool comic book to read, but it also looks really neat in the packaging. I mean, check it out. Those are all comic books. Longshot is so cool, man. He takes me immediately back to the Mojo episodes on the 90s X-Men. Dude, check it out, man. He has an unrivaled mullet with a pop collar. I really love the rubber bandolier and satchel. It's, it's really neat in contrast to the all-black outfit with the blue pockets. Dude, check out his articulation. He can go full Jean-Claude Van Damme. He has 360-degree rotation at the wrist, hinges back and forth, and then has hinges on the fingers, too. Oh, dude, wait a minute. There's only four fingers. <laughs> that's cool. I wonder if that's supposed to be like that if they made a mistake. Man, long shot freaking rules. Luke Cage. Wow, dude. He might be the MVP of this entire wave. Dude, he is pure 1970s comic goodness. Dude, look at the shirt open with the long collar. Holy cow. Man, oh my God, dude, check out that face sculpt. Man, I love the grimace teeth and expression. Metal headband, hair looks awesome. Dude, what a cool Toy Biz face sculpt. So Luke Cage basically has modern articulation. Swivel and cut at the waist and torso. Double pin elbow joint. Does have rotation at the wrist 360 degrees as well as up and down. And then he does have finger articulation with his left hand. Dude, and check out the cuffs on his boots. And he articulates at the toes. I'm gonna have to figure out how to use this to my advantage because you really don't have a feature like this on modern legends. Luke Cage is epic and that steel chain belt is next level. Baron Zemo with his scarred face variant. Dude, he looks like Pizza the Hut, man. Check out that face. Dude, especially right there where his skin looks all melted. That's incredible. I also have this figure uh, with the Baron Zemo mask, and I'm pretty glad I have both now that I see them together, man. It's really cool. Dude, first of all, I cannot get how cool he looks in this purple outfit. It's got a really neat black wash running through it. And then you got his big uh, wrestling belt here, just bright and gold, pops with everything else. But the real winner here is his fur collar, man. So cool. And then as you go down and check out his boots, he also has fur collars on both of them as well. Zima also comes with a staff that goes into a notch in his hand here. Having a hard time getting it to stay in, but definitely gonna work on it. 
Man, his pizza face is going to keep me up at night. How about you? First appearance, Iron Man. Oh, dude, he is awesome. He really does look archaic, but that's the point with this figure, isn't it? I love the silver, like, chromed out body. You have the gold arc reactor and antenna here. And then you have just, like, the classic comic book Tony Stark face, man. I mean, it's really neat to have a Marvel Legends representation of the first suit he built from the comics. And I cannot wait to put him in the Iron Legion, man. He's just going to look so cool next to all the other variations of the Iron Man figures I have. So you have movement at the head, up and down. Double pin elbow joint, shoulder comes out to here. So the wrist rotates at 360 degrees, also on a swivel. And then each finger has independent articulation. Oh man, that's really cool. Dude, I got a feeling I'm going to put him in my display uh, where he's keeping up foreign relations. You know, communicating. This Iron Man just got a whole lot cooler when I put on his face shield. Dude, it's just like in the movie and the comics. You can just see his eyes peeking out through underneath. And when you pull him back, oh, dude, that is so cool. <laughs> Man, I am just gushing over this first appearance Iron Man. He is definitely going to be a standout in my Iron Legion. And now the moment I've been waiting for, and I've been so excited to do this, let's continue honoring the toy gods and put the Modoc build a figure together. Dude, check out the bottom spider leg pieces. They snap right into place. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put his two uh, stomach pieces together. Oh, dude, his stomach is so gnarly. <laughs> that is awesome. Dude, the back of his spider legs is so cool. Just check out all that detail. Now I'm just going to take his stomach and press it into the spider legs. Snaps right into place. Oh, man. <laughs> so cool. Check out all those wires coming out, man. And this is where, like, that scorpion's uh, tail is going to stick out from. So I am going to push that, snap it into place on the back of his stomach. And then we're going to take uh, the spider legs. You got the back and the front. Push all that into place. Oh, <laughs> dude. Oh my god, dude. Now we're going to take this pure nightmare fuel. I'm just going to pop him in right there. <laughs> dude, that's, this thing is amazing. And then we have the final piece, the scorpion's tail. Go like that, right? Push that in right there. i got to be honest, man. This might be the coolest build-a-figure ever. Holy cow, dude. dude. All right, let's just start at the bottom and work our way up. First of all, check out these spider legs. They all articulate individually. He's got gold jeweled inlays on the side of the stand. And then when you come around to the back, you can just see all the wiring, the exhaust. I mean, check out all that sculpt work. And then you come up through the back and you got more of the wiring sticking out. And then that leads to this awesome scorpion's tail, which again, has tons of incredible detail to it. And then you gotta just bring it in for a close up. And look at that gnarly face, dude. His whole body is just like this gross, pukey green. It's got discoloration all over it. I mean, look at the fold in his stomach and his chest. His eyes are peeled open just like on the show. And you have all the wires running back that look like his hair. Oh, man, when you pull that to the side, look at those, dude. That is, this thing is awesome. Double pin elbow joint. Shoulder comes all the way out. Wrist rotates 360s, and the fingers move on top of the wrist hinge. Oh, man, dude. He is going to go front and center in my 90s X-Men display. Oh, kind and merciful toy gods, please accept this humble offering of the Mojo Build-A-Figure Wave unboxing. It is a most glorious wave, and I am honored to have it in my display. Please guide me on my noble quest to find the Obi-Wan, Anakin, and Echo Clone Wars Wave figures. Guys, honestly, I am super pumped to have this wave of figures opened up now. Mojo is going to be the future centerpiece of my 90s X-Men display along with Longshot. Luke Cage is epic, and I'm stoked to have a proper Psylocke. The first appearance of Iron Man is a keeper too, guys. I'm overflowing with joy from this wave. Let me know in the comments below if you have any of these figures or if there are any other standout Toy Biz figures I should target. Thank you again for watching. Hope you had a good time honoring the Toy Gods with me. Please like and subscribe to join the noble quest of building this action figure collection. See you real soon.